Hi, it's Doug from Rise Above Performance Train. So we've gone through some different mobility series. We've done the general series for warm up. I uh, have another video where I talked about ankles. So another area I found to be highly immobile on some athletes are the shoulders. So one test you can do to see if your shoulders are immobile are two ways. You can do it standing, which is basically just doing a flexion test. So I'm going to just bring my thumbs up and bring them up towards my head. Now, right around here, a lot of people will start lifting their chest. So we don't want that to kind of fake mobility. So we got to see if the athlete can keep their chest down and see if they can bring them straight over their head, over their ears. Another way they can do it, you can see a little bit better, is actually doing it on the floor or a stretch table. So I'll do it on the floor here. So I'm going to lie down. I'm going to have my arms on my side and I'm going to bring them behind my head. Ideally, a good shoulder should be able to lay their arms flat behind their head. Um, in extreme cases of bad immobility, I have seen shoulders popped up like this. And in more common cases, I'll see something like this, where this arm is overused and it doesn't quite sit on the table or the ground, and this one's pretty flat, so there's a rotational component too. So we're going to address those. So a lot of um, shoulder dysfunction or immobility can come from a tight lat along with the joint itself. So you can do some distractions, some joint distractions, get in a band. I like to stand, a little stagger stance. What I'm going to do, so the lat connects into the upper arm here. I'm just going to kind of pull a little bit and then relax. Pull and relax. You can hang on a little bit longer. You want a little bit of tension, not so much that it's yanking your shoulder out of the socket, but I just want to get that going. You can change the angles a little bit so I can come back here a little bit more. So it's going to kind of lift it up as I do it. So the whole goal here is to release the lat and get the arms to move a little bit freer overhead. A couple others I like. You can get a smaller band. And we're going to do some flexion and extension. So palms down. I'm going to drop my chest. And I'm going to bring it over my head. The band's going to allow me to pull apart a little bit. I don't want to pull apart so much that I easily get overhead. I want to feel a little bit of stretch. So I feel my right arm stretching a little bit. So I'm going to kind of wiggle around in there and get a little more without my rib cage lifting up. And then I just back off, reset, open up, and back down. Last one you can do is you can do a, a rotational one. So I'm going to get this band 90 degrees and I'm going to roll it around my head and as I come back here I'm going to switch it. So this requires a little more pulling of the band but it allows my shoulder to roll around and as I move it's going to get a little looser. What I don't want to do is move my torso around with it. I'm trying to stabilize my torso. Opposite way I kind of shift and roll, down, shift and roll. One way may flow a little bit more easily than the other. Mine gets a little tight right here, so I slow it down and then really try to work through it. So these are some of the ones I have my athletes do if they have tight shoulders to get them a little more mobile. Give them a shot. Let me know what you think.